It's a Father's Day special coming your way. Sammer Croquettes and Grits. Let's go. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Cooking with the Browns, where we cook what we like, how we like. Please follow us on social media and click the subscribe button. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making something very classic and very unique. Everything that I cook typically has a meaning behind it. So this is a southern breakfast. This is a fish and grits breakfast. The fish that I'm going to be doing is some salmon croquettes. Salmon croquettes are very special to me because my auntie, Aunt Mabel, God rest her soul, introduced me to salmon, but not the grits. So she made amazing salmon croquettes. I'm going to be doing my take on her special recipe. All right? All right, here we go. So what we have here is 15 ounces of canned salmon, wild canned salmon, uh, so it's roughly about a can, two cups of grits, quick cook grits. We have some breadcrumbs, and that's half a cup, three tablespoons of butter, two eggs, two tablespoons of mustard. You can use Dijon mustard. Of course, it amplifies the flavor. I add a special element to it, which is about uh, two teaspoons of capers, a teaspoon and a half, depending on your salt level. I use a Cajun seasoning, like an Old Bay seasoning or seafood seasoning and garlic. You can, you can just do salt and pepper if you like. I have two tablespoons of mayo. I have two cups of half and half. And then I have my cheese. You can use whatever cheese you like. I'm doing a cup of provolone cheese. You can use whatever cheese you like, all right? So what I have behind me is some boiling water for my grits. So again, you wanna boil your water in advance if you, if you like. And then what you wanna do after that is you wanna add in your two cups of, of heavy cream. I mean, half and half. That's the key. Half and half is the key. All right, fantastic. So now we're over here at the stove. And now we're gonna pour in our two cups of half and half. And then I like throwing the butter in early. Some people prefer to do it at the end. I prefer to do it early. All right, we're gonna just start whisking that in there. It's gonna get hot really quickly. You'll see the butter melting. All right, so now, there is a huge debate that we have going on when it comes to grits. So understand this. So there's a huge debate, right? So with the grits, people do sugar or they do salt and pepper. Now, a lot of Southern people believe that it's blasphemy to put sugar in grits, that it's a Yankee thing, AKA Northern thing or a West Coast thing but I beg to differ. My grandfather, one of my grandfathers from Little Rock, Arkansas, and another one is from Hughes, Arkansas. And they both put sugar in their grits. And they are, were, one is, and one was extremely Southern. Or you can call it, well, Fort Sumter is also a very small town. So now I'm adding my grits to the equation as well. And that was two cups of grits. We're gonna bring those to a boil. So if you want to use sugar, use sugar. If you want to use salt and pepper, use salt and pepper. I'm not going to judge you either way. Again, this is the browns. We're going to cook what we like, how we like. This is what it is. So once this comes to a boil, we're going to let it, we're going to um, turn it down for about 10 to 20 minutes. And then we're going to add our cheese at the very end and then of course you can add your salt and pepper or you can add your sugar at that point all right let's wait and see what happens all right so as you can see they're coming to a slow boil or they're coming to a boil it's not necessarily slow but you want to turn that down to low let it cook for about 10 to 15 minutes stirring occasionally and then while we're doing while we're allowing this to cook down, we're gonna go ahead and start getting our salmon croquettes ready. All right, fantastic. 
Okay, so this is my take on my Auntie Mabel's most amazing salmon croquettes, right? So I'm gonna make a twist and I'll kind of tell you what she did and you can take whatever bits and pieces from that and add it to yours. So we have the salmon, we're gonna throw in the bowl. Then we're gonna add breadcrumbs. Well, my Auntie Mabel swore by uh, Ritz crackers. She didn't do breadcrumbs. I'm doing breadcrumbs. You can do panko too. I also use panko, but today I didn't, I didn't have panko. I had breadcrumbs, so that's what I'm using. Again, I'm using two eggs. Again, for you amateurs, make sure that you crack your eggs in another bowl so you don't get shells. I am an expert here. So I crack my eggs in the bowl. Now one day what's gonna happen, somebody's gonna say they got a shell in the egg and then all hell is gonna break loose. All right, so now I'm gonna add my seasoning. Again, this is, you can add salt and pepper if you want to. I did, again, again obey. And then I also did some garlic. Mayo, she didn't add mayo. This is something that I'm doing. I want that, I want the salmon cakes to be very moist. Again, I'm using regular mustard. If you wanna kick up the flavor another notch, Dijon works really well. And then she never used capers. I'm using capers. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, I'm also using two tablespoons of scallions, AKA green onions, all right? And then all you do is mix it with your hands and then you have your salmon patties ready to go, ready to go. On the grill, or excuse me, ready to be pan fried. That's deliciousness right there. All that, just straight deliciousness. Look at this, you hear that? That's, the sound itself is moisture. You want your salmon cakes to be moist. Who likes dry salmon cakes? Anybody like no dry salmon cake? Tastes like you eating uh, sandpaper. It's horrible. So, again, favorite recipe. We about to fry them up in a second, and you're gonna see what the turnout is. All right. All right. So it's been about ten minutes. As you can see, grits are looking amazing. And we're gonna throw in our cheese. You can add more cheese if you want to. Again, I did a cup, maybe a little over a cup. But you can do however much cheese you want to do, incorporate it in. Again, they should be thick and creamy. Don't be having no grits that's looking all liquidy and all this type of stuff. Don't be doing that. Don't be doing that. You at the house. All incorporated. Man, look at this. Look at this. Look at them grits. Come on. If your grits don't look like this, you're not making grits. For all y'all that only use water and say, oh, I don't like putting cream in my grits and stuff like that, grits are supposed to be creamy. Grits are supposed to be creamy. Don't be making no watery grits. Creamy, just like this. Let's go. All right, so now with the salmon croquettes, grab however much you want, right? It's no set amount, grab however much you want. I like a good size ball, roll it in your hand, almost like a meatball. And you want to pat it down. You want to pat it down, try and get the egg has to be perfectly round and all that stuff. If you're making perfectly round salmon patties, you're not really making them good because my, my, my auntie never did them perfectly round. They were delicious. Make sure your oil is hot. All right. Throw a couple in. As you can see, if I start frying up, they're not the same size. I don't care. Let me tell you that right now. Again, I'm cooking with the browns. You already know what the slogan is. Throw them in there. Again, you wanna do maybe four total. You know, you don't want the oil to, to drop too much um, and they won't fry the way you want them to. You want them to turn golden brown, roughly golden brown on one side before you flip them over. Maybe it'll take 
four to five minutes. Again, they want they need to stay together. That's that's the the breadcrumbs and the eggs are for to, to so that they bind. And then once you get the fourth one in there. You just let them fry up and get a nice little crust on them. Again, that's where the breadcrumbs come in too. Get a nice little crust. Light out. Done. In there. It's a wrap. All right. All right. As you can see, you can see how they're brown along the outside. You can kind of see how they're brown along the outside. And so when you see that, they're ready to be flipped. All right, let's make sure I get this. this is the way your salmon patty should look on the outside. Again, they should be able to stay together. Beautiful color. If they any darker than this, you didn't burn them. Just so you know. Again, you don't want a lot of oil, but you want enough to cover up a portion of it. There we go. That's it. This is, this is amazing. Like this is super deliciousness right here. I don't even know if that super deliciousness is even a word, but it is for these salmon croquettes. All right. All right. So now both sides are done. As you can see, the other side is the same color as the top. And now it's time to come out. Again, you want to put some paper towels or something, soak up the, the uh, oil. But other than that, we are good to go. Salmon croquettes. Fish and grits, all done. All right, so now we have our salmon croquettes done and now our creamy delicious grits are done with cheese. So now it's time to taste them. All right, piece of this salmon croquette right here. Let me take That's dry as hell. Auntie Mabel, I don't know, I think I might've got you. Oh, for real. That's it right there. Mm. I can't be just doing that. I can't put that in there. Make some grits. Man. Them grits is... <laughs> them grits are bomb. Don't even try it. I mean, you need to try it, but... If you're not making grits like this, you're not making grits. I promise you. Alright, so click the subscribe button. Please join the family. We appreciate you guys. We have a brunch coming up. This is food for our brunch, for our friends. We're celebrating Father's Day. To all the fathers out there, we appreciate you so very much. We thank you. If you like the apron, please go to P4 Customs. They made this apron. We appreciate you guys for supporting us. Again, it's Cooking with the Browns. We appreciate you. Until next time.